on the road in Albania, one of the Balkan states waiting in the wings to join the European Union. Traveling to the remote northern hills where most people and even police don't dare to set foot, Liliana Luani is on a mission. The 56-year-old teacher is here to find Albania's hidden children, a generation trapped in a centuries-old tradition of blood feuds between neighboring families. Here, a 40-year-old mother lives with her three teenage sons. Her husband is in jail for murder, and they live holed up at home because the boys could be killed in a vendetta if they simply stepped outside. Luani comes here to teach the youngest son in the hope it will help him escape the fear and the violence. This is what pushes me to go door to door to visit the kids that have blood feud problems. I live with their suffering, with their pain and their family's pain, and now I'm more emotionally involved. These children's identities can't be revealed for fear they will be found and killed. According to a medieval code of conduct, the canon, only men and boys can be targeted or told to avenge their relatives. That can happen anywhere but in the family home. Luani remembers a teenager shot dead on his way to school. I had a student. It's been two years since they killed him. He was an adolescent. I will never forget this child. I will never forget this child. I can still hear his voice and his laugh in the school corridors when I'd mess up his hair and he tried to fix it. I will never forget it. This misfortune didn't spare him. The blood feud took his life. An accident or a land dispute can be enough to start a cycle of tit-for-tat killings. Luani hopes to make mentalities change. I think that for this generation, basic education is a very strong weapon to stop this blood feud phenomenon. It's estimated that several thousand people, including young children, live like outcasts, trapped by Albania's bloody vendettas. Ich möchte mit David in Posten.